Hello global family, the men's journey at the 2021 European Beat Championships is over where they have finished sixth overall, an improvement from 2018 and I think we can all say it has been great to have them back in international competition. Congratulations team, it's been great to watch you over the tournament. Here is the final episode of the head to head series with Dan and Joe Roper who both as well as the rest of the team performed amazingly. Dan especially finished the second highest top goal scorer with 40 goals in the men's bracket, which is absolutely amazing over a four day period. I hope you enjoy it. Joe's on the left of your screen and Dan is on the right. Out of the two, who has the best jokes? Probably Dan. Probably Dan. Yeah, I'd say Joe, Joe loves a joke. He can't help himself, but they are terrible. Absolutely yeah. terrible. But that's what makes me good. Who thinks they have the best jokes? Yeah, Joe. Uh, I would like to think I've got the better Joe. jokes, but they don't end up sounding the better jokes when I say them. <laughs> I like my stuff all in it piles. Like I've got all my kit bags, they're all set up. Everything I know exactly what order. Like it goes box shorts, hip pads, trouser. Everything's organised to within an inch of its life. You go in Joe's room, like at the last camp, and absolutely <laughs> stinking kit everywhere, hanging off the curtain rails. Yeah, oh. Joe, Joe, without a doubt. Well, yeah, this is right, I guess. Yeah. Cheers, Dad. Trying to trying to get away from myself there. A head-to-head -head in Mastermind, who would win? Oh, I'd have to say I'd win, but Dan's going to say he's going to win. So. It's got to depend on the um, subject, doesn't it? You know, because this is it. If you pick a broad subject, a specialist subject, it can be quite hard. You've got to find a nice niche subject. There's only so much things about it. But um, yeah, my, my, my I'm general knowledge. A big question. Who has the best fashion sense? Oh, yeah, this is a hard one, like mine. It's, um, I, I do, you know, I like bold colours. I put mixed things together, you know, training shoes, got to match up, nice pair of chinos, all that. But to be honest with you, I basically 95 to 99% of my life live in trackies. So, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that, 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 that. Rocks a nice, a nice jacket, you've got a nice couple of jackets, nice clothes and that. So, Joe is definitely rocking up in nicer clothes generally. And I just love my track suits, but. Yeah, it's pretty even. I mean, I do, I do pull off a tuxedo quite nicely. So I don't wear much, though. I don't get the excuse, unfortunately. But yeah, I, I quite like dressing a little smart. But what is Dan's favourite meal, Joe? Dan's favourite meal. <laughs> I'll, I'll say now, Dan, Dan likes a lot of meals. Dan does. Um, but I, I, I don't know whether it's his favourite meal because I'm pretty sure he doesn't have it too much at home. But whenever I tell him about, because um, I used to live with my nan and granddad, whenever I say uh, nan, Nan's made um, her pork chops with the mash and obviously whatever veg, Dan always does get a bit bit jealous. And it's like, oh, I'd, I'd, love, I'd love a pork chop. I'd love one. Like, so I don't know if that's not his favourite meal, but from so when I speak about it, I can tell he, he does like the pork chops. <laughs> what is Joe's favourite meal, Dan? Right. Well, you know, we grew up on my nan's cooking. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. And uh, Joe's kind of give the game away on that one a little bit. But it's, <laughs> it's pork chop, man. Pork chop, yeah. mash, gravy, vegetables. Mm -mm. Yeah, all that jazz. What is Dan's favourite thing to do outside of Go Bomb? I've got quite an easy answer now, fortunately. Um, Dan Dan is pretty obsessed, to fair, um, which is fair enough, with um, with his little girl. So um, any act, any activity with little, with little Autumn, he uh, he just loves. And yeah, you could when when he talks about like I mean, when they got the Alexa on singing, dancing, or she's doing puzzles or whatever, or out in the garden playing on the slide or whatever. Dan Dan's lights up, um, his eyes light up. So Dan's favorite thing is definitely uh, spending his time with his, uh, his family, which is uh, very nice to see. What is Joe's favourite thing to do outside of goalball, obviously? His favourite thing outside of goalball? Um, you know, 
to pin it down to one thing's a bit hard. Because Joe, you know, like he's doing a bit of this, a little bit of that, and he loves his Formula One and whatnot. But I definitely say he loves playing the PlayStation. You know, it sounds a bit whatever, but yeah, Joe loves. Joe's good on the old PlayStation. Our nephew likes watching him play, and he's pretty good at all the different games. He's got a couple of different consoles. So you got PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch. Yeah. And all that, isn't it, Joe? So he's a pretty yeah. avid gamer. Um, even follows a couple of YouTubers, isn't that right, Joe? A couple of YouTubers that are yeah, gamers and stuff like that. So, yeah, he likes likes gaming and stuff like that, which is awesome. I- Episode four on the series is complete global family. I hope you've enjoyed watching it as, as much as I have in making the videos with the team and getting to know them in a more light-hearted aspect. And before we end the video, just want to say another big well done to GB for their amazing team performances over the weekend. It's been great to have you back on an international scene. I hope you have all safe travels home. Catch you later, Global family.